Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Rox again here and today I got 5 simple tips for all of you to improve your gameplay. Just so that these tips are more for beginners who are just starting out, but maybe you learn one or two things as well. But anyways, let's get it right into tip 1. Tip 1, play at your own pace. And the first tip is pretty simply explained, but how often did you try to play way faster than you are used to and it got you killed because you watched someone else do it? Well, I certainly have, so I understand how you feel. So what you should learn from this tip is that there is no shame in playing slower or getting a few less kills around because you eventually will get faster and faster until you reach your point you are satisfied with. Because with every game you play you get better and you improve. Tip number 2. Use the right guns. And this one is also very easy to understand but Mblox has a stupid weapon balance. Some guns are just way stronger than others and some of this is all that keeps you from killing someone or getting killed. And if you ask yourself now what are good guns to use, well I'll post some good guns and their setup in the description so check that out right on to number tip 3. Tip number 3. Don't stop moving. And this tip is especially important as I still see a lot of people stand completely still while shooting at someone. And I myself also do it sometimes still. But what you should learn from this tip is that if you stand still while shooting someone, you will most likely just die right away since you basically give yourself away. So just keep moving even if it means missing a few shots more. Because all that matters is that you win the gunfight and you get the kill. Tip number 4. Warm up before you start playing. Pretty self explained isn't it, but you should warm up before you jump into mats, especially if it's your first round that day, since if you don't warm up you will most likely not be able to play at the at your usual level since your hand isn't warm or your muscles aren't quite ready and stretched. It. If you need a good warm up routine, you can watch the video in the info card after you finish watching this one, as we will go into greater detail on how to warm up properly for aim blocks. And it's also how I warm up for a tip. 5. Know your maps. And what I mean with this tip is pretty simply explained. But what you also will have to learn eventually is how to move through each map and know where the spawns of that map are, as it will increase your protection even further. You can skip this tip if you're still a beginner trying to figure stuff out, but if you do want to give it a try, you can get a private server on Aimbox completely for free, then just hop either into arcade or competitive and just walk through the map to get used to it, but you could also just watch the tutorials that will come out for every map in a week or two. Tip number 6. Positioning is key. I think everyone knows when you die in a gunfight and the first thing you do is walk straight back to the place you died trying to get revenge on the guy that killed you. I know it myself. And well, stop doing it. Experienced players know that know this. And they will often just camp that position and they often get a bunch of extra kills with this strategy. So next time you die in a gunfight, try to flank that position instead of running straight into it again, alright? Tip number 7. Stop W keying. And this is another thing I see happen way too often. And I also keep doing it for some reason. Where you just keep on going in a straight line to the enemy, not thinking about anything except getting that kill in. But it's a really, really bad habit to have. As strafing can save you from like a lot of trouble. It will save your life and your win streak more often than having good aim. And I'm not joking with that. And for the last tip, don't forget to take your breaks. It's important to take a little break here and there, since after a while you will definitely start to perform worse and worse. So I'd recommend at least a 10 minute break for roughly every 1 to 2 hours you play. This will make sure you stay at the top of your game and you can keep performing just like you did when you first started playing that day. Alright, this has been it with today's video. I hope you all liked and found the tips useful. But anyways, if you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe as it's the best way to show me you like the videos I make. Anyways, I'm Rogues, your Miss Content Creator and we see us straight in the next one. Ciao, ciao!